Ivrim, Hebrews 12. Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight, and the sin which does so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Looking unto Yahusha, the author and finisher of our belief, who for the joy that was set before him endured the pole, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of Yahuwah. For consider him that endured such contradiction of sinners against himself, lest ye be wearied and faint in your minds. Ye have not resisted unto blood, striving against sin, and ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaks unto you as unto children, My son, despise not the chastening of Yahweh, nor faint when you are rebuked of him. For eth whom Yah loves, he chastens, and scourges every son whom he receives. If ye endure chastening, Yah deals with you as with sons. For what son is he whom the Father chastens not? But if ye be without chastisement, whereof all are partakers, then are ye bastards and not sons. Furthermore, we have had fathers of our flesh, rather flesh, which corrected us, and we gave them reverence. Shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the father of the Ruachoth and live? For they truly for a few days chastised us after their own pleasure, but he for our profit, that we might be partakers of his holiness. Now no chastening for the present seems to be joyous, but grievous. Nevertheless, afterward it yields the peaceable fruit of righteousness unto them which are exercised thereby. Wherefore, lift up the hands which hang down, and the feeble knees, and make straight paths for your feet, lest that which is lame be turned out of the way, but let it rather be healed. Follow peace with all men, and holiness, without which no man shall see at Yahweh. Look diligently, lest any man fail of the grace of Yahweh, lest any root of bitterness springing up trouble you, and thereby many be defiled, lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. For ye know how that afterward, when he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected, for he found no place of repentance, though he sought it carefully with tears. For ye are not come unto the mount that might be touched, and that burned with fire, nor unto blackness, and darkness, and tempest, and the sound of a shofar, and the voice of words, which voice they that heard entreated that the word should not be spoken to them any more. For they could not endure eth that which was commanded, and if so much as a beast touch the mountain, it shall be stoned, or thrust through with a dart. And so terrible was the sight, that Moshe said, I exceedingly, rather exceedingly fear and quake. But ye are come unto Mount Zion, and unto the city of the living Yah, the heavenly El Yerushalayim, and to an innumerable company of angels, to the general and called out assembly of the firstborn, which are written in heaven, and to Yahweh, the judge of all, and to the Ruachoth of just men made perfect, and to Yahusha, the mediator of the renewed covenant, and to the blood of sprinkling that speaks better things than that of Havel. See that ye refuse not him that speaks, 
For if they escaped not who refused him that spoke on earth, much more shall not we escape if we turn away from him that speaks from heaven, whose voice then shook the earth, but now he has promised, saying, Yet once more I shake not the earth only, but also heaven. And this word, yet once more, signifies the removing of those things that are shaken, as of things that are made, that those things which cannot be shaken may remain. Wherefore, we receiving a kingdom which cannot be moved, let us have grace, whereby we may serve Yahweh acceptably, with reverence, and in the fear of Yahweh. For our Yah is a consuming fire.